You're listening to Marketing Mavens on Good Morning Delhi with Sarthak. And what a lovely thing you're doing because what we're trying to do is uh, trying to see if we can trick a thought. Uh, we're telling you stories about ideas and uh, uh, ideas are what um, uh, our uh, resident expert and uh, consultant with McCann, Abhishek Chaswal, brings uh, with an absolutely delicious perspective. Uh, the idea uh, that we were talking about last time was the allopathic and the homeopathic uh, lens through which to look at uh, advertising with and uh, we thought it's good enough to carry on so a little introduction before we start uh, so that people can remember Abhishek yeah so uh, there are two ways to look at advertising according to this uh, this system you know one is homeopathic and one is allopathic mm -hmm. allopathic uh, approach to advertising would be to treat the symptom of the uh, stimulus you know mm. or or to to give a trigger which is the surfacial trigger mm. and a homeopathic approach would be to actually go to the root cause of yeah. uh, why would anybody uh, do that uh, and and look at triggers which are deep deep seated uh, because eventually both the approaches uh, answer the same thing which is uh, what will make uh, human behavior change you know absolutely so and we uh, you know we ended the last one uh, uh, on uh, on the on the subject of condoms and we were talking about how the progression had happened from uh, from the beginning where nirodh was all about stopping yourself and then of course uh, there was the iconic uh, horse running in silhouette and masti ne banaya hame marzi ka malik to the more human centric approach of moods where this very confident guy comes in and and bangs on the table and says moods please yeah. um, um, uh, to uh, uh, you know the the absolute sensual sexiness of the Kama yes. Sutra ads, which became very controversial at that point yeah. of time as well, because they were bold, weren't they? Hey, na? Yes. Uh, but you've got some more uh, of these examples. Yeah. Here. So we we ended uh, we ended the last session with condoms. So I thought that we can start with the contraceptive pills. <laughs> no, <laughs> so, of course, so, we have to link everything. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So uh, let us say you know the the first. Uh, uh, contraceptive pills you know that uh, that uh, one could see was uh, obviously they were they were very clinical in approach but uh, when they started coming and uh, over the counter uh, medicines one of the names that uh, uh, was there you know i think it's still there is unwanted 72 uh, mm. which in a way you know uh, the the uh, which is nothing bad with it uh, nothing wrong with it uh, but it it clearly says you know that uh, uh, if you take this pill within 72 hours they will be uh, uh, no pregnancy you know or mm. no uh, but what i think works better uh, which is uh, to not be the baby killer but be the doubt killer you know mm. and and that is where that is the space that i pill took mm. which showed up a woman uh, in doubt Mm. not not really uh, you know uh, in in tension but she, she was in doubt and wo shak hai ke hai nahi hai pata nahi ha ya na kill that doubt take take ip mm. you know and and uh, you know that because the deep seated uh, cause or the problem is doubt yeah. if whether i am pregnant or not whether it will ye, ye or not what should i do mm. and that rather than saying uh, that you know, uh, as if uh, the baby is a is a disease that you can yeah. you know curb with a with the concept. So, so th th that is the approach. Yeah. Uh, along with I think uh, along with some CSR initiatives about uh, you know more awareness of exactly what the pill can do because it's not it's not the panacea. It wasn't there. It wasn't that there weren't side effects and there was a huge debate actually uh, yeah. a societal debate about uh, about whether contraceptive pills are um, uh, you know uh, over the counter cam uh, contraceptive pills are uh, adequately. Uh, associated with the knowledge that is required before taking them considering they yeah. were medicines yeah. they, they were it was Correct. medication so Correct. so that's important to remember as well isn't it yeah uh, definitely uh, like a uh, ek, ek brief aaya tha mere paas bahut pehle you hmm. know uh, it was for rural women and uh, they wanted to do promote the contraceptive pills uh, there right and uh, uh, so there we called it emergency goli you know hmm. we we tried we didn't call it you know anything to do with ke problem uh, yeah, but we call it emergency hai. and the line that you know I, if i remember it right the line that uh, we would uh, you know gave to them was kuch hone ke baad kuch hone se pehle 
so right. in a way you know mm-hmm. it it mm-hmm. it didn't make judgment calls at women yeah. who were yeah. uh, buying yeah. uh, contraceptive pills absolutely the allopathic being uh, symptomatic and the uh, and the homeopathic uh, striking at the root am i right Amjad? yeah yeah that's that's the way to look at it uh, and sometimes you know sometimes both these approaches work hand in hand and they 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 can coexist coexist mm. uh, like in this example that i've got for you you know let's talk about zomato okay. uh, uh sometime back uh, uh with zomato you know they were they were uh, they were news like delivery boys are not being treated right by customers and yeah. uh, uh, there were some incidents uh, uh, in some uh, places and overall the the self esteem of the delivery boys was not very high and mm. the gig economy was also very new in india sure. so uh, obviously they were teething problems with the way the industry will work how the econo- economics will work uh, with that sure. but what was the scene the scene was that delivery boys were feeling low self esteem you know do, doing a, a very delicious job you know actually and and customers were also not very you know they were not looking at them in a very if i can use the word humane way you sure. know they were looking at it very transactionally a tuk 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 and yeah. uh, as if a drone is coming humanity so, had no part to play in that transaction yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah so uh zomato did two things you know uh, and simultaneously uh, they did two things and one i think was the homeopathic approach and one was the allopathic approach so the allopathic approach which they did was they started a they, it still goes on uh, they started a series on youtube called humans of zomato right and uh, in in each episode they they took a delivery boy or a delivery woman and they showed their uh, life story how they have you know from where are they coming and what has been their journey sure. which basically made people more empathetic towards them and started uh, so that is a direct you know the symptom is low esteem yeah. how can i improve that i can you know so it 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 worked Uh, it works for them and it works both at the symptoms yeah. and the root cause level na right? yeah but there is a there is a different way you know where you can uh, where we we did that uh, uh, which was like what if we show the uh, i'll i'll explain it to you through a, a small film film situation so a delivery boy is uh, waiting at the door uh, he rings the doorbell and uh, the door is opened by let us say katrina kef and katrina says that you know wow uh, you've come on time it's my birthday uh, wait uh, i'll give you some cake and then only you can go hmm. and she goes inside the, uh, while the delivery boy is waiting outside he gets a uh, delivery for another uh, 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 address and he waits for katrina just a bit but he doesn't want to delay the other delivery so he goes and that you know uh made the delivery boy the master of his own destiny in a way yeah. that i can yeah. even say no to katrina's <laughs> cake yeah. because you know so that gave them the self esteem from a from a from another approach of power Absolutely. rather than it being given to them yeah. as uh, you know a gift or something you know somebody saying look at him he's so he's yeah. so great rather than that you demonstrate that sure. you know that person is in charge of his own uh, time and his own control the active and the passive use of power yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. that's the important bit and uh, yeah treating people with humanity and that, that that you know it also when we ended it with her customer has star so it in a way mm-hmm. also enveloped the customer to say yeah. that you know we we value you equally the allopathic of course being uh, uh, the one treating the symptoms and the uh, and the homeopathic one uh, trying to uh, uh, you know hit at the root cause i think uh, the short term and the long term also has a bit to play with it no abhishek yeah it you can also call it tactical and and uh, and theme Yeah, yeah, you know, brand, the or brand, brand or whatever. Or yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, you've got examples, yeah. Yeah, another uh, great example, you know, which I I could see uh, in front of my eyes, you know, happening was uh, the messaging at uh, red lights. Hmm. So earlier, the messaging uh, at red lights would be, "Don't jump the red light, don't cross the red light." There is a five rupee, hundred rupee fine if you cross the red light, you know. But still, you would see people, uh, you know. uh jittery and you know uh, vroom vroom ah. and revving uh, 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 you know uh, their engines ja- their engines you yeah. know impatiently waiting for the waiting for the red light to turn green you know yeah. that was the so and all those messages you know there were still chalans there were still you know people used to uh, jump red lights but then somebody would have thought you know that what is the reason why are these people doing wrong 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 and why are they you know they, because they are waiting for it to turn green they don't know when will it turn, turn green so what if we just uh, fix a counter there 
that yeah. tells people that there is 18 17 16 15 <laughs> now and then it'll turn green and it it immediately calm people down so Absolutely. all that needed was not the fear of chalan or the fear of death or accident or something i also Abhishek, actually, I, also, i also remember this uh, uh, this on ground campaign that it happened uh, which incorporated uh, uh, the the problem of noise pollution the problem of uh, uh, pollution at red lights and uh, uh, and the impatience which was i think mumbai had done it first which was that uh, if you were uh, if you would honk Yeah. it would add 5 seconds to the timer correct so correct, instead correct. of having to wait for 20 seconds you'd have to start waiting for 25 seconds yeah. so and everything was quiet so that is that is like that a, was a, bri- a brilliant brilliant yeah. way to you know punish people yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then absolutely. you know then ab bajake dekho we train train people yeah, uh, yeah. to do that absolutely you know. unfortunately it's the carrot and the stick and sometimes we just need the stick yeah. don't we so i remember you know this punishment uh, reminds me of something you know trevor bt the man behind the wonder bra campaign and mm. see uk and all that all that uh, iconic global stuff you know uh, one said something that uh, there are safety bags in every car hmm so what if you know every time a safety bag uh, uh, hits you uh, hmm. that means you've you've hit the car somewhere you've you've driven like that so the uh, safety bag is hitting you to save you but what if every time with the safety bag a little rod also pokes you just a little in the chest you know just a little to pain you not to harm you so that you drive more carefully next <laughs> <time>. <laughs> you know? ooh that <laughs> uh, today of course it's about the allopathic and the homeopathic way of uh, uh, lens of looking at advertising yes abhishek yeah you want to tell so, us a little so uh, another example i've i've got you know is about uh, क्लोथ वाइटनर्स सो बहुत पहले क्लोथ वाइटनर आता था रॉबिन और रानी पॉल नील बोलते थे वी यूज टू कॉल इट नील एंड सो दे वर अ कैटेगरी एवरीबडी न्यू वट टू वट इज टू बी डन यू नो वाइल वॉशिंग योर वाइट क्लोथ यू पुट अ सम अमाउंट ऑफ दैट ब्लू पाउडर इन द वॉटर एंड देन द शर्ट यूज टू कम आउट नॉट एग्जैक्टली वाइट इट हैड सम ब्लू ब्लू टिंज टू इट यस Yes. But yes. that was the only product available in the market and everybody used to use it as a cloth cl- a cloth whitener. Hmm. But all of us had you know in a way embraced the little blue tinge as white in our <laughs> mind you know and yes. we were living with it. Uh, yeah. uh Santosh Desai also talks about uh, this aspect in his book Mother Pious Lady. Uh hmm. so uh to humne us neele ko hi safed apna liya tha we had uh, ha we yeah, had done we, the color correction a little in, in our head in our, in our heads ha. only and we were you know so uh, now imagine what was uh, what were those uh, blue powders you know trying to do uh, they were trying to make better ads selling the same product so better ads uh, or you know uh, so wo usi uh, in the same narrative they were trying to make better 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 more more impactful uh, communication and that was one race you know anybody would uh, everybody was playing that race then but a homeopathic way to look at it would be to see the the people need white you know but this is not white but we we accepted it as white yeah so a new product came which instead of making a better ad they made a better product <laughs> <laughs> and aya naya ujala char bundo wala came and then you know now we know where, yeah, uh, where every, uh, that's yeah, the cloth white absolutely so that that i think is not homeopathic approach in advertising but homeopathic approach in marketing you know when uh, they don't look at the problem uh, uh, you know uh, in in promotion you know but yeah. maybe sometimes the problem could be in the product also and then and of then course can, the yeah. ogilvy b- benchmark of course which is that good advertising makes a bad product fail faster correct so that is why for, <laughs> it's a it's a great way to end this uh, conversation I yeah. tell you, Abhishek, which is that sometimes we forget that uh, uh, the hype around the thing uh, needs to have the thing to be good enough to have Correct. the hype around. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> that's important, and that's why we thought we'd strip down the hype around, uh, uh, you know, around advertising a little by telling you the stories and telling you, maybe just uh, hinting at a at a different way of looking at it because there's always ways to look at things, right? Correct. And so, you can apply them to your life also. You yeah. know, like uh, instead of uh, uh, solving a symptom. 
for yeah. for any problem or yeah. anything you know yeah. if we if we try to go to the deeper cause of it and Absolutely. we and we act there we probably get better results and that's what the the allopathic and the homeopathic lens was that abhishek so wonderfully was talking to us about uh, abhishek can be found on instagram uh, zep head z e p p h e d d uh, i'm of course at sarthak from radio as usual abhishek this has been uh, enlightening mind expanding etc etc so Thank you, sir. Uh, like a, a uh, like a bit of a uh, you know uh, like a bit of a thought drug which is so <laughs> lovely uh, so thank you very much for that thank you thank you and yeah. that's marketing mavens uh, you know what to do if you want to say anything to us we'll take a break come right back okay <laughs>